Glenn was um, threatened by a leading member of South East Antrim UDA. Um, he used the name of that organisation and threatened Glenn because Glenn had voiced an opinion which was adverse to what um, actions they had taken in the town. Um, Glenn was really concerned about that. Glenn was terrified. And unfortunately then on the third or third end of the 4th of January, Glenn was indeed attacked. The threat was, was played out against Glenn and um, three individuals attacked Glenn with iron bars and baseball bats and left him with absolutely horrific injuries. 52 fractures in his chest alone. And um, it, it, Glenn, unfortunately, in the early hours of the morning, then passed away. He passed away lonely, cold, uh, terrified, and um, it, it, it's an absolute disgrace. Absolute disgrace what they did to my brother. Glenn was really well known in the town. Um, he'd been a barman in the town for years. Um, he was very funny, he was uh, charismatic, he had loads of friends, people, he was, he looked after people, he cared about people and uh, he went out of his way. He always went the extra mile to look after somebody. We, we as a family very much feel the weight of responsibility to make sure that these people are brought to justice, that they receive the cold, hard justice that they deserve, life sentences. We will not let anything stop us. Threats, they're wasting their time. We will shine a spotlight on the three individuals that murdered Glenn. And by their own actions, they have brought to them and to their, their former colleagues the attention of the Paramilitary Crime Task Force. So when their houses are searched, when their property seized, when they're arrested and charged, don't be blaming us. Blame the three individuals that murdered Glenn. Because that's who brought the heat, that who's brought the attention by murdering a terminally ill man. There is no loyalism amongst the, the people that murdered Glenn. These are a bunch of criminals who've wrapped themselves in a union flag of convenience to give themselves credibility. We would ask the, the, the good people of Carrick Fergus to search their hearts. And if not, if they can't, if they don't feel that they can come forward. They can phone Crime Stoppers, give information um, in relation to the individuals that murdered Glenn. And because these savages will do it again. You know, they, there are seven unsolved murders in Carrick, all linked to these, this gang. So it's going to happen again. Some other person's brother, son, is going to be attacked by these savages. And we don't want to see that. We want them in front of the courts and paying for what they've done. And we, do, we hate the thought of another family having to go through what we have went through.